Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe Show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day and welcome to the Valder BB Show as I start my Wednesday off with John Woods. Now, John is a Ph.D. and he serves as the Chief a- Academic Officer and Provost for the University of Phoenix. And today, John will be giving results of a new study on America's career option, optimism, called Optimism Index Study. Welcome, John. Thanks, Valder. How are you today? Oh, I can't, I'm glad to talk with you because I can't think of a better time to talk about optimism. So tell us about the University of Phoenix Career Optimism Index Study and what were the key findings? Yeah, we conducted this study uh, December, January time frame. We housed the study within something at the university we call the Career Institute. And uh, it's called, as you said, the Career Optimism Index. And Our goal was to measure uh, American perceptions of uh, their career prospects uh, as relates, uh, you know, to everything that's happened uh, currently uh, the last year or so with the pandemic. We were really, really surprised that probably the number one finding that came out of the study was that in spite of all we've been through, 78% of Americans remain optimistic or hopeful about their careers. Despite the optimism, no. Career challenges are Americans facing? Yeah, uh, there's definitely some findings in the study that uh, we should all pay attention to that Americans are concerned about as relates to their careers. Uh, people cite in, in high numbers that they would like more opportunities for upskilling, particularly in the Dallas area. Uh, this number was higher than the rest of the country. So, awareness of opportunities for upskilling, access to opportunities for upskilling, support from employers uh, for uh, accessing upskilling or training opportunities all came up a little bit higher in Dallas than the rest of the country. You know, Dallas residents are similar to the rest of the country when it comes to career optimism, but where do they stand out in terms of skill development? Yeah, it's um, uh, a little bit higher in Dallas that uh, our respondents report concern about not having access to those opportunities or feelings at at 46%, in fact, that their skills are going to be outdated uh, moving forward and this that might impact their career prospects. Workers, where did they go to gain the needed skills that they need to face these challenges and create long-term career success for themselves? Yeah, there's a a range of answers to that question, Valder. It it can be as simple as networking uh, and uh, having a mentor, maybe somebody who's got the job that you aspire to have yourself in the future. Um, There's an awful lot of information out there about different training programs, upskilling programs. As I said, uh, ideally an employer can help guide an employee with some of those uh, searches for different things that they uh, think will be helpful for their organization, for their workers to obtain. Um, there's also a, an undercurrent in the study that people are uh, in need of some emotional support and uh, the fear of change is, is pretty prominent. So just having a support network is, is key. And finally, I've met over the uh, past year many graduates from the University of Phoenix. What do you guys offer in conjunction to helping workers gain the skills that they need? Yeah, thanks, Valder, for asking that. We um, uh, really index our programs um, to uh, job growth areas that uh, we see in the future that are above average, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Uh, We have degrees, we have certificates if somebody wants something a little bit shorter. And we've also launched uh, what we call short burst learning or professional development courses 
these can be completed uh, very quickly and are in some of the fastest growing fields like internet marketing and uh, uh, scrum agile technologies and uh, project management. So we have a, a wide range of things folks can uh, check out from us as well. And I'm sure you can do it online also too, correct? Yeah, we've got campuses across the country, but uh, uh, as uh, most of us uh, kind of realize today with, with COVID, so much is being done remotely and online. And uh, we've been doing online education for decades, so it's not something that we're new uh, to doing. And uh, uh, I think it's, uh, it's, it's been good for the University of Phoenix in some ways uh, that we've been a pioneer in online learning and, and folks have uh, you know, uh, now had to move to that. It's, uh, it, it's, it's been good for us to, uh, you know, already have been there, we'll say. John, online, where do they get more information? Yeah, on our website, Valder, uh, phoenix.edu slash career hyphen institute, be able to find all the results from the index uh, there and uh, start your, your search as well uh, for upskilling and training opportunities uh, that might be a good fit for people moving forward. John Woods, you represent your company very well, so thank you for being a guest on the Valder Beebe Show and talking about the Optimism Survey Index. Thank you. Thanks, Valder. Have a great day. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television, and this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.